Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to Brow TV. Thank you so much for being here. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about what's next for Charles Oliveira. Charles Oliveira fought Islam Makashev in the UFC 280. And Charles Oliveira lost the fight against Islam in the second round submission. You know, leading up to the fight, Charles Oliveira was a better wrestler leading up to the fight. People were yelling. Hailing Charles Oliveira as a better wrestler because he submitted a lot of people in his own division. He has the most record in the lightweight division in terms of submission. Why Islam Magashev haven't fought a lot of top contenders? Charles Oliveira fought a lot of top contenders in his own division. You know, he fought Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler, Tony Ferguson, Kevin Lee. He fought those guys and he got victories. Charles Oliveira fought a lot of top contenders. He was great, a lot of people were saying that he's gonna win the fight, even Colin McGregor saying that Charles Oliveira is gonna win. A lot of people said he's gonna win the fight, but he came out to be Islam Makashev winning the fight. Because Islam Makashev, on the other hand, haven't fought a lot of top contenders in his own division, the lightweight division. And people know Charles Oliveira more than Islam Makashev. You know, Islam, Islam is a great wrestler. He shows everyone that he's a better wrestler than Charles Oliveira, even though Charles Oliveira has the better record in terms of submission. And Islam Makashev has been training with Khabib, the legend, 29 years old, haven't lost before in the UFC. He's been trained by Khabib. Khabib's father, or his late father, trained Islam Makashev as well, 22 years in the game. So, Islam Makhachev have that foundation, good foundation to be a better wrestler than Charles Oliveira. But, you know, records doesn't really say a lot of things, but hey, Charles Oliveira was a, was a good wrestler. And, you know, a lot of people were saying that if this fight were, was a stand-up fight, Charles Oliveira might take a victory, he might knock Islam Makhachev out. Because Islam Makhachev, his only loss in the UFC was, a, was by standing up, someone knocked him out, right? He, nobody have submitted Islam Makhachev before. So that's why a lot of people were saying that Islam Makhachev is not a better striker. But that night, Islam was a better striker. He knocked Charles Oliveira down a couple times. He destroyed Charles Oliveira on the floor. He submitted Charles Oliveira. And a lot of people were surprised that this can never happen to Charles Oliveira. But, you know, congratulations Charles Oliveira, he did well. He came in prepared, no injuries. I didn't hear any injuries about Charles Oliveira or Islam Makashev or whatever. It's not like the TJ Dillashaw, TJ Dillashaw's fight. He had an injury coming to the fight and he showed a pop and he lost the fight, you remember? Remember, he lost the fight against, against Sterling. So, he wasn't prepared. He already got injury coming to the fight. Dillashaw, I don't know what's going on with him, but I think he's gonna retire. Islam Makashev and Charles Oliveira was a different case. Those guys were prepared. They came in into the game prepared. Their fight lived up to the height. UFC 280 was a very, very beautiful card. You know, the Sean O'Malley's fight was a little controversial and uh, they thought Peter Young won the fight. You know, I don't, I don't wanna go through there, but this video is all about what's next for Charles Oliveira. Now he got a victory. You know, a lot of people calling him out. Uh, we don't know how this fight is gonna go. We have heard about Alexander Vukonovsky. Alexander Vukonovsky trying to move up to lightweight to fight the champion there, Islam Makashev. And hopefully if he wins, he will be a double champ. He will be one of the double champs in the UFC. You know, he's a history maker. You know, Alexander Vukonovsky is the pound for pound king right now in the UFC. He's number one. UFC just updated the ranking. Alexander Vukonovsky is one. Israel Adesanya is two. Islam Makashev is three. Karamaru Usman is four. Leon Edwards is five. Francis Ngannou is six. And seven is Charles Oliveira. It seems he might have one, one fight or two fights in the lightweight division before he can get a title shot. We don't know how this stuff will play out, but I think we might see Charles Oliveira coming out first quarter of next year to fight someone. That person, we don't know because he already uh, beat so many top contenders in that division. But we have one man, Darius. Darius is ranked number four in the lightweight division. Darius fought Gamrot in the UFC 280. He did well. 
he did well all around. He was striking well, he was using his wrestling well. He was solid, he was solid. He destroyed it, you know? He got the victory. That was crazy, by decision though. And it, it was a three round fight. You know, Derish has a good record. It's that low key fighter, nobody knows. Everybody's talking about like the guys they know, right? But Derish is a low key fighter. His record is good, right? His record right now is 22, four and one. He only lost four times as an MMA fighter. You know, his fight against Game Road was a very beautiful fight and uh, the striking was good. Like, I've never seen a guy strike like that. Total strike, significant strike, he got it. You know, 67 out of 138 for total strike, 59 out of 130 for significant strike against Game Road. He did well and he's ranked number four in the lightweight division. So that's the fight to make. Deryush versus Charles Oliveira. I think it's the fight to make. I think the fight people want to see. I know it's gonna be a tough fight for Darius. Looking at the caliber of Charles Oliveira, looking at what he have done in the division, looking at the longevity of him being there, being on top all the time, and it's gonna be hard for him, but that's the fight to make. I think if Darius destroy Charles Oliveira, who knows, the sky's the limit for Darius. You might see Darius and Islam Makachev in the future, but how this stuff is playing out, we don't know. What if Islam Makachev now fight Alexander Vukonovsky for the lightweight belt and Alexander Vukonovsky destroyed Islam Makachev and be the two-time champ? What happens? What happens now? So, is it gonna be Darius and Alexander Vukonovsky fighting for the belt? It's, it's a very tricky situation, but I think next year I'm hoping, I'm hoping to see Charles Oliveira versus the Rich. Let's see who is the better striker, you know, who is the better wrestler. Let's see who is all-rounder. Like, I don't think Islam Magashev is going to lose in this division. I don't see any fighter that can beat Islam Magashev right now. The only fighter I can think that can come closer will be the Rich. But I don't think the Rich is that strong of a fighter. I don't think he's that strong. Islam is so strong. You know, the way he wrestles, he wrestles with his legs, he wrestles with his whole body like a lot of people saying that it feels like he's way heavier than what he portrayed to be you know when he wrestled you so it's gonna be a difficult fight for whoever the fight is on Makachev and yeah so Charles Oliveira's next fight I would like to see Charles and Derish fight but I also think Alexander Fukunovsky will move up in weight who knows he might fight Charles Oliveira he might fight him who knows, we'll see how everything plays out or Charles Oliveira might go down and grab Alexander Vukonovsky's belt. I don't know, that would be interesting though. But I heard in the UFC 284 or 85, we might be seeing Charles Oliveira coming back to fight, to walk his way up and, and hopefully get a title shot. So what do you guys think? What's next for Charles Oliveira? Is it Darius or is it someone else? So guys, if you guys like this video, please subscribe, please like. Subscribe to Libra TV. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.